English intensive program. 011 Reading Earth We all call the Earth home. But did you ever think about what our home is actually made of? The planet is approximately 4,000 miles from surface to center. But what makes up those miles of Earth? First, let's start with the part of the Earth that we live on, the outermost layer called the crust. It is made up of loose material like rocks, soil and seabed. The crust is about 5 miles deep beneath the oceans and about 25 miles thick below the continents. Beyond the crust is the mantle. The mantle extends approximately 1,800 miles deep into the earth. It makes up about 85% of the total weight of the earth's mass. The mantle also has layers. The first 50 miles are hard rock. The next 150 miles are superheated molten rock that is so hot it can flow under pressure like tar. Underneath this heated layer is several hundred miles of solid rock. Think of the mantle like a peanut butter sandwich. You have the two pieces of bread and the peanut butter between them. In the mantle, we have two layers of solid rock with heated flowing rock between them. Next is the outer core. This is about 3,000 miles beneath the Earth's surface. The outer core consists of superheated liquid molten lava. The lava is mostly made up of iron and nickel, which is why some geologists call it molten metal instead of molten rock. The outer core creates the Earth's magnetic field. The final layer is the inner core, which is 900 miles deep. Scientists believe the inner core is a solid ball of iron and other minerals. The temperature is extremely hot, somewhere between 9000 and 13000 degrees Fahrenheit. But because of the high pressure, the iron and other minerals cannot melt. The heat of the inner core is sometimes compared to the heat of the sun.